Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about osteoblastoma imaging. Osteoblastoma is a benign tumor that forms osteoid. Differentiated closely from osteoid osteoma by larger size, more than 1.5 cm. Most common sign and symptom, down, localized pain, neurologic symptoms due to compression of all tissue, painful scoliosis. Possible cause in addition to osteoblastoma include trauma, osteoblastoma, other tumor, infection, renal or retroperitoneal abnormality. Demographic, 90% in second, third decade of life. Diagnosis in patient up to seven decades of life. Predominant in male more than female. Imaging, 40% of osteoblastoma. Osteoblastoma occurs in sponge when it comes to the expansive lesion of neural match, frequent extension into the vertebral body, narrow zone of transition sclerotic ring, plus periosteal inflammatory response of adjacent ring pleural sickening infusion, peri-tumoral edema and phenomenon. Edema and hence oxygen tumor machine mimic malignancy. AP radiograph so focal level sclerosis secondary to upper thoracic osteoblastoma. The tumor is not visualized. No focal pleural sickening. A secondary signs of osteoblastoma. The patient also at upper thoracic pain, this combination of symptom and algebra findings should from CT evaluation. Bone CT, so expansive osteoblastoma of the right lamina, dermatic mimic ring and arch of chondroimatic. Cortical breakthrough is evident at the inferior human margin. Bone CT so an expansive low thoracic osteoblastoma extending from lamina into spinal gland. The lesion is sharply circumscribed and below involving to adjacent lobe level. T1WI armor in a young adult with low back pain reveal a hypo-intense mass within the L2 spinal process. Stiama in a young person with neck pain and swelling reveal marrow edema in the T1 spinous process with surrounding soft tissue inflammation. Am I in this region so suggest an aggressive lesion. Treatment, surotage of bone graft or metacrylate placement. Preoperative mm -hmm. embolization may be helpful. Thank you.